All right, let me say, welcome to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. As I sit here in this line to go pick my son up, I'm going to do a quick video, real, real quick. This video right here is about love, right? Because you see the brother that um, cut his wife neck and cut her up, the one in Georgia, he never loved that lady, right? And of course, he was 30 years old and she was 47, so there was an age difference. But I've seen many relationships work with age difference. Right now, there are relationships that have been working as, with age difference for a long time. You're talking about people that are 20, 25 years older, 30 years older than each other. And they've been together for years and years and years. I live right here in Florida and I see it. And these people make a life. And sometimes when you see the husband out with the wife and the wife out with the husband, you think, that must be his daughter that I don't know or whatever, but people make that work. So for the people who are saying that the age thing made a big difference and that's why that happened, it's not, okay? There was no love in this relationship in the first place. She might have been in love. She looked like she was in love. Every picture that I looked at, she looked like she was in love. I'm just going to use them as a segue, though, because this is not more about them. This is more about us as a people that are so damaged that what we think love is, is not really love. We have a thing in our culture where we call, we call hard love. Like, there's no such thing as hard love, man. I love you, but I got to teach you a lesson so you make the person suffer. That's not love. Love is never, ever hard. Love is, and believe me when I tell you, love is never hard. Love is always forgiving. Love has no ego involved. So you see, if somebody hurt your feelings, and your feelings get hurt, and you pack up your things and just left them, so you never love that person. Love don't just die just like that. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you got to walk out of a situation for your own sanity and for better. But love will make you stay and work stuff out. Do people fall in and out of love? Sure do. Sure do. Because we're humans and we're on a journey. And we grow. We evolve. And if someone is not evolving with you, then you could find the tightest couple end up becoming two total strangers over a short period of time or over a period of time because one grew in that direction the other grew in that direction and they no longer had things in common or common ground it's sweaty it's hot in here because i turned my ac off because i didn't want the ac actually i'm gonna turn it on so you probably i'm gonna just have to talk louder the ac blows hard in this truck so anyway listen in jamaica we have and i speak to jamaica but i also speak to like caribbean culture for the most part. Our thing about this hard love thing. And and um a lot of these relationships are forged out of need, right? Like a young youth won't go foreign because his conditions in Jamaica is poverty like. So an older lady offers and he says yes through marriage. Now she's up there thinking you're going to marry me and be my husband and be faithful to me and all this. You got to understand, you're pushing up 50 years old. If I'm 29 here and 30, I want to go to the clubs. I want to go party, especially if I'm into music and entertainment and stuff like that. So to play, and I'm not going to change my lifestyle for you. So there's a thing called compatibility, which is what I spoke about in the video, which I felt the need to make this video about. Love and compatibility. A lot of us don't know what love is. We've been trained to think that love is someone that gives you things, material things. We've been trained to think that love is, I don't know, some dysfunctional ways to show love. I know this is old saying, but we've all heard the woman that says, well, if him not beat me, he not love me. Or I give my husband hell. Or I give my boyfriend hell. Just so, that, that's how I show him I love him. And if he don't give me hell or something like that, if she not complain and broke up stuff and 
act crazy, then that means she don't love me, that kind of stuff. We've been trained to be dysfunctional as a people. And you gotta, you gotta look into our history. I know I remember growing up and I'd get my ass beat and then I would get told by the same person that beat me and left welts all over my body that they loved me, yeah, as a kid. Bust my head on everything. My white shirt turned red with blood. I'm, I'm frightened. I'm a kid. I think I'm going to die. I thought I was going to die. And that same person told me they loved me. So we're dysfunctional as a people ever since little. So what happens when we get older now? We get into a relationship and we think you could choke her out. Or choke her, or slap her, or box her, egg y'all. Oh yeah, blood. Oh yeah, talk to. Or she thinks she could retaliate like that way because whoever she was with before you was dysfunctional as hell, and she dragged that baggage into the relationship. She was probably from your culture and raised the same way as you. People beat her, and the same people would beat her, tell her she love her. Now you have two dysfunctional people, and us as Caribbean people, we hate to revisit our history and look at the truth of how it became that we are dysfunctional. We hate to admit flaws and faults. We deflect, we deflect. It could be the trees problems. It could be caused by the wind and the stars. It's never us. It's never our parents, our grandparents, how they raised us. They made mistakes. They left scars and welts, not only on our outside body, but on our minds. We brought that over into adolescent and adult life. And now, when we're in a relationship, people get hurt, physically hurt, emotionally, psychologically hurt, verbally hurt. And sometimes that verbal hurt, you know they have a saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt. That's a lie. Sticks and stones can break my bones. But words can cut deeper than any damn sharp ass knife. Words amputate limbs. Up here, so I'm talking. You understand? And I've said this before again. See, I, when I talk to my audience, I talk through life experience. Like, I've been in a relationship before where a female said something and I just could never let it go because it was so hurtful and so disrespectful that. I never got another hard on for that female again. My penis could not stand that erection for this female again. And I started thinking something was wrong with my body. I started going to the gym extra. I started take wash out. I start linseed, Irish moss. Then one day I was like, but how come I'm at work getting a hard on during the day at work? But when I'm around this person, it's like my, my, my thing turned inside up in my body. Like my penis wanted to get away from this some real thing man telling you know wanted to get away from this person and it made me go cheat it made me go be with somebody else because I had to see if something was really wrong with my body and I found out there was nothing wrong with my body matter of fact I was damn good working good it was the turmoil that was going on in the relationship and I had switched completely off from this person. I'm going to close this video out. I don't want it to be long, too long. I'd rather make a part two than have this cut off. But I'm going to tell you all this. For those of you who are in a relationship, whether it's marriage or it's a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever relationship you're in, you and your significant other, be very careful of the things that you say to each other because it could cause you to never, never, have feelings for each other again. And I'm talking about sexual feelings again. And after a while, you'll become sexually frustrated but not want to do it with the person you're with. And eventually, you're led to go cheat, right? And I know people say, just get up and leave then. Yeah, it's always easy to say that. And some people have principles and will get up and leave or will tell you, look, this ain't working. We got to go our separate ways, right? But majority of the time, it's some back a wall behind each other's kind of stuff. Avoid all that stuff through your relationship. Watch how you speak to each other. Do not use harsh words. Words are very friggin' serious. Know what love is. Love is never con love is never mean. Love is always forgiving. Love is slow in speech. Love is understanding, taking the time to listen. 
finding a common ground with no ego involved. That's love. All when she give a bun, if you love her, you won't kill her. May I tell you, that's why I'm going to end this by saying the brother that killed him wife, he didn't love her. They went into a relationship, a situationship, and when the situation didn't work out how he wanted it to, this is what happened. When you love somebody, you can walk away from them. Believe me. People say when you love somebody, you can't walk away and it's hard. That's a lie. When you love somebody, if the choices are hurt them or walk away from them, you will walk away every single time. It's all Flow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section today. Watch this video with your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your lover. Watch this video with your significant other and then share this in a discussion with each other. All right? I'm out. Peace.